when you become a follower of Jesus, he says, deny yourself. So that the only thing that finds expression in your life will be the things that pass the test of Christ-likeness. It's no longer just enough to say, this is how I am. Jesus is aware, but you have forgotten that before you came into the world, sin happened. And because sin happened, you can really not even be too sure anymore how you are. Say, this is the way God made me. How are we sure? There was a man in Acts of the Apostles chapter 3. The Bible said he was lame. From where? From his mother's womb. Location. It was in the womb that he became lame. I don't know what God sent into the womb. But I know what happened in the womb. Lameness happened to that man in the womb. So that man can come up and say, this is the way God made me. It's not true. Your accident happened in the womb. It happened in the womb. That's what the Bible says. Mephibosheth, the other guy that was lame, he's, he escaped the womb. It was in the hands of his nurse that he was lame. And if they didn't tell him, he may not have recollections of the time when he had two whole legs anymore. He will say, for as long as I've known myself, this is how I have been. No! A nurse dropped you. So there are many things that you can blame God for that God has no hand in it. We, we live in a broken world. So it's not enough to just say, I find this to be natural to me, so it has to be me. No. 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 You have to factor sin into that equation. This is why discipleship and the power of Jesus is available. Jesus calls a man that will follow him to donate himself to Jesus. And then Jesus will make you. He is the one that has the original plan of your life. And so he can bring conformity to between what exists on the earth and what was captured in the original plan of God in the original beginning. So you can come along now and say, hey, I cannot speak, I'm a child. Ah, he said, before I formed you, I knew you. What we wrote there is different from this thing you are talking about. They came to Moses. He said, hey, I can't. I'm a stammerer. I'm a stutterer. Stut what? Stutterer. Who? When did it befall you? You are a stutterer? You know the summary of the life of Moses? According to Acts of the Apostles chapter 7, the Bible said he was a man mighty in words and in deed. He, he, Moses. Mighty in words? That's stutterer? He could have said, that's who I am. So I tell people that until you have had encounters, you can work with temperament, but there's something superior to it. Huh? NJ, what, what? I did those things too. I, they told me one thing like that. And you run those personality tests. All right? They are helpful. If that's all you have. But you see, I show you a mystery. But it's not a mystery. For the Spirit of the Lord shall come upon you, and thou shalt be turned into another, another, another man. It, this is not you are not going to be refurbished they said you will be turned into another man so you really don't know who you are until you heard from god until you heard from god you don't know who you are gideon looked and said when they said to him the lord is with you the lord is with you mighty man of valor me He said, the Lord is not, he's not even around. He's far from the land, let alone be with a man. If the Lord is with us, where are all the miracles that our fathers told us about? He brought them out of the land of Egypt, but now the Lord has abandoned us. And the Midianites, they have rule over us. They called Gideon a mighty man of valor. That was what heaven said of the man. But this man was hiding away from the Midianites to trash his wit. Meanwhile, According to the records in the heaven, this was the man that was supposed to trash Midian. He was hiding from the people he had been raised by God to crush until you have heard from God. You don't know who you are. So when we pray, and we go through these spiritual disciplines, many times it is not because we don't have what to do with our lives. Is because we will have no life. You, you can live 60 years of your life in the shadows until the day light dawns on you. And then you would realize that this is not you. 
Moses, it was 80 years. And whenever we talk about Moses today, it was what happened to him in the last one third of his life. That is a picture of Moses that we now have today. The first 40 was in Egypt. The next 40 was to get Egypt out of him. And then the final 40 years of his life is what defines the Moses that you and I talk about today. What if the burning bush never happened? But Anna said, and he married, uh, what's that his wife's name? Zipporah. All right? And they had three children and they lived happily thereafter. Come on, say, God forbid. So you see, all the men and women that eventually broke out of that mold, they were able to do it before, because something came for them and something came to them. Arise, shine. Why? For your light is come. Your light is come.